Monster RX 93.1. So with, with Instagram out of it now, for you as an individual, you know, um, as as the person you were with, with of course, um, in the relationship with, you were married with, when was the time that, that she shared that there was going to be a transition? Oh, so through the relationship, already in the first few months, Mm-hmm. Ange had shared her secret uh, that she she liked women's clothing. So mm-hmm. this is also the beginning times where Ange didn't also fully understand mm-hmm. what is she, why mm-hmm. does she like this? Why has she always thought of this as a as a young child mm-hmm. already? And she felt confident to share it with me. Me coming from the fashion industry, this was you know big deal. Actually, mm-hmm. this was like a this is a great opportunity because I get to introduce her to so many other things mm-hmm. she had never tried before. So I felt, I felt entertained and special and also excited to introduce her to new things. Uh, so that was the beginning where it seemed to be just a playful uh, fetish maybe. Mm-hmm. But as, as the years went by, um, it really started uh, evolving deeper because now Angie's trying to reach out to others on on secret forums because mm-hmm. she needed to answer questions that I cannot help her mm-hmm. with. So it, it started evolving to Beba, I believe I'm transgender and that mm-hmm. was completely like what's that? And she started you know, doing her own research and we're mm-hmm. really always checking pros and cons is, is she, but is she'd still be Ian Mm-hmm. like 80% of the time mm-hmm. so what I share in the memoir is uh, what everyone saw with our little info documentary and what we shared in various articles was mm-hmm. the outcome of, of Ange and Joey mm-hmm. but what I share in the memoir was the emotional confusion I had mm-hmm. uh, because here I am supportive but now I'm starting to hit a wall with how supportive can I be Mm -hmm. because I I just couldn't explain I started punishing myself Mm -hmm. uh, a lot Mm -hmm. Um, where Angie can't help me anymore so I had to find help so what I share in the memoir are situations that we both experience as a couple Mm -hmm. when we travel and how it really was for us in the years where Angie wasn't out yet Mm-hmm. And how we're just kind of like in this, this phase, this this dream state of mm-hmm. fantasy, uh, and you can't really live your life like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it was such a journey for us that, I, like I said before, I'd gladly do it again because because of Angie's transition, mm-hmm. it really opened up the missing pieces in my own transition mm-hmm. for my own healing. You know, she Joey. Represented so much. Thank you for for taking time to share with us this story. You know, I don't know if a lot of people have heard this, but it's an honor for you know for you to share this with us. You know, this story that you're sharing with us because it takes a lot, especially in our society, uh, especially here in the Philippines, to yeah. you know to be married. To to someone and then big lasilanic transition. It's just yeah. not as an open state as in in the United States or wherever yeah. whatnot. Hey, how are you doing? Doing well. Having dinner next to me. I had dinner Hi, how are you doing? I'm gonna zoom you guys in for you too. Hey, thank you for for <laughs> taking time to join us. You know, thank you for for sharing with us your story, and you know the great relationship that you guys have now. You know, you know, Angie, for you. I'm gonna tell you, you haven't read my book yet. Yeah, you haven't read. <laughs> you haven't yet. You haven't read my I've book. Been so busy. It's 174 pages. I tried to go as fast as I can too, but you know. I've seven. read this in an hour and a half. Mm. <laughs> I, will, I will make time this week. Angie, I'm going to DM you the I'll summary. Put everything in the 
the summer. Now, for you two, you seem, you know, you have your relationship so well together. I mean, do you have any message for Joey with, with this memoir coming out that you want to you wanna share it to her? Oh, um, wow. <laughs> Well, even though I haven't read it, because I was there for hearing the first version and the revisions and mm. the re-edit, um, it, it's like I was there because obviously with Joe, she's very animated when she makes Puento. Mm. And you really feel like the hardships <laughs> that she's gone through. Mm. And I just felt bad that I had to add to the hardships, <laughs> knowing that she had such a hard streak already of like dating and hardships <laughs> and then men not treating her right hardships mm. so it was yeah just to find out that i was adding to her stress because when we were in our rough situation it was it was pretty bad mm-hmm. it was in i guess yeah in our documentary we did really portray the yeah, the detailed the part. Yeah. Of the, the down parts. The mm. documentary was all the happy bits already. Like, yeah. everything's fine. Everyone wants a good love story. Mm. But the road getting to the documentary was about mm. four years of, like, are we going to break up already? Um, we should break up already. Mm. She packed her bags already. Um, it, it was trying. Like, we didn't think we would make it through to the end. So... Um, and as Joey mentioned, what got us, I guess, yeah, what got us in the same page was basically, if you don't like what you see in the mm-hmm. morning, then we can cut it already. Right. Mm-hmm. So it was just down to uh, situational awareness where this is the present, this is what we're in control of, mm-hmm. and if we're happy, then let's take it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it was a very simple solution to a very complicated problem. Monster exclusive interview only on Manila's hottest Monster RX 93.1.